everybody. It is a beautiful day here in South Carolina. And I had a box come in, my new gear from shitting on them. Straight out here shitting on them, got the lanyard, the flat bill. Got some other good stuff too. Go check them out, shittingom.com. Get some awesome shirts, hats, decals, whatever. So, yesterday I had a road trip. Took the old Cummins and trailer at like middle of the night and bought a pool table. Mustang owners. And it was a last second thing. I'm about to go show you. And this video is going to be about the field today. <laughs> Made some phone calls yesterday and got some dirt we got dirt gonna have five or six loads brought in today smooth that out see how far that gets us and yeah then make the decision on how much more dirt we need and start building some jumps and once I get it smoothed out and we have our base surface I'm going to um, get my boy to bring his roll back and get my Datsun 240Z and um, place it where it's going to die because the 240Z is going to become a jump um, not sure how I'm going to lay it out yet. Probably part the car and have dirt coming up to one side and then dirt coming off the other side. So you would technically jump over the roof. Um, going to do that. And I've got a couple G35 shells and some IS300 parts cars and stuff. I'll probably migrate and take them from my shop and my backyard and move them to the field also. That way it's something we can shoot and destroy and also still use to get parts off of and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so let me show you guys something. I don't know if anybody that follows me or watches car videos is knowledgeable on pool tables. So, started fixing my barn up as a hangout spot. Got some decor to hang up and whatnot. So, went and bought this pool table. It popped up on Marketplace with all these sticks. The bridge. Nice little rack. Whatever. Popped up for 50 bucks. I was like, it ain't got to be pretty. It's going in my barn. Something for the boys to shoot pool on. So I get there, load it up, and realize, holy crap, this thing is super heavy. So I figured for 50 bucks it was a cheap, cheap wood, cheap, you know, top, nothing special. So we get it back to my house, start looking, and realize it's a slate top. So I was like, well, it's got to be nice. And then I noticed this uh, <laughs> badge, which is a Brunswick Monarch. Had a fella come look at it this morning as a pool table expert and said that this pool table in this condition is worth like 3500 bucks uh yeah so good to come up there and he asked me like you gonna sell it nope for 50 bucks and i do have the side panels i just gotta put them back on yeah, for 50 bucks, it's staying in the barn. So, yeah. Got an Alexis because dirt will be here shortly. And I'm going to get some footage of the dirt coming in and getting dropped. But I always ask permission before I film people. And the company that's bringing the dirt does not want their logo to be seen so gotta be careful how i record when those guys are here 
but uh yeah dirt's getting dropped today gonna try to find some equipment get out here this weekend and start laying some dirt down smoothing some stuff out might be a good weekend guys we might get to jump a car or two within the next few days which is going to be great because the old lexus needs to be jumped so comment in this video what you want to see if you have any suggestions for the playground that we're building comment let me see what you guys want to see all right guys so i'm driving through the field now i got these guys following me to bring the dirt and uh, once i show them where to drop it they're gonna start making laps and dumping dirt throughout the day pretty stoked guys pretty stoked so let me try to get some videos of this without getting their logo because it's a big dump truck big load big load let's get it here it comes yo dirt yes sir first load of dirt Start somewhere, boys and girls. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right, guys. So this is what one load looks like compared to the car. You can see a load is pretty big. So this is what comes out to be 20 tons. And these aren't rocks. It's literally just where the dirt's clumped up, which is good, because this is gonna pack really well. And this is what I wanted. It's got a little bit of gravel and rock mixed into it. It's all small. Um, but yeah, like all these big chunks, it's just dirt packed up. It's more, it's got like almost like a clay base to it, which is really good, so it'll pack well. And, it won't be as dusty as like red dirt to be good be real good got it for the cheap yeah baby girl you are going to get the ever living crap beat out of you as soon as we get some more dirt in here and smoothed out across this area oh yeah Oh yeah. All right, so I'm just sitting in the Lexus, having a protein bar, watching this guy come dump dirt. There's a lot of dirt over there now. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a Great time smoothing all this out and uh, designing my area. Yeah. Oh boy. Dirt. Dirt is coming in. Dirt's here. These boys are making passes. Oh, yeah. I don't care how old I am. I've always been fascinated with these things. 
Four, baby, four. So I'm standing up here on my mountain of dirt. Yeah. There's a lot of dirt. There's only three loads. I've got uh, the deal I've got worked. I've got like three more loads coming. And uh, just got off the phone with a good friend of mine named BJ Mackey. Uh, he's a professional race car driver and he's got a couple side businesses. Um, and he does like grading and bush hogging and all that stuff. So he's going to come look at bush hogging all of this, all of that, and get me a price on doing that. And if it's in my budget for this week, go ahead and get that bush hogged and, uh, see what trees are left standing that we can't just bush hog over and make the decision if I'm gonna leave them or chop them down. And uh, really thinking about tearing this fence down right here. This fence right all the way through there and extending the playground up, up there and making the main entrance that gate that's oh right there there's a gate right there because the reality of this is i'm not going to put horses and other critters back out in these pastures because between ripping cars and shooting guns and blowing stuff up like we're going to be doing it's probably probably not the best idea I see, I already see it now, having horses run through the fence. Because when we had horses here before, 4th of July weekend, New Year's, people just in the neighborhood beside us shooting off fireworks was making horses run through the fence and act a fool. So probably just going to leave that be. Um, and speaking of guns, I got some pretty rowdy guns that we're going to definitely have some fun with out here. Um, I was really thinking about doing a dirt mound in the back corner and setting up a little shooting lane area just for playing around. Um, but yeah, all this dirt. Man, I, I'm sure excited about dirt. Never thought in my life I would be excited about dirt. But yeah. When somebody tells you how big 20 tons of dirt is, you're like, I don't sound that big. But once you actually see it and start messing with it, 20 tons is a lot of dirt. I mean, a lot of dirt. Now, I couldn't afford the $160, $180 loads of dirt that was bright red and didn't have a single stone or pebble. So there are a couple of things like this big rock oh see that's just that's just dirt that's stuck together but like that big rock stuff like that's gonna have to get you know found and and moved because don't need that stuff in our beautiful paradise that's getting built Pretty excited. Pretty excited, guys. All right, guys, so out here still on top of this, and I've just kind of been walking and pacing, just seeing how good this stuff packs down. And it packs absolutely like perfect. Solid dirt. It's good packing dirt. 
pretty happy and got another truck coming in <laughs> so yep yeah, after this truck heat the guy called me i've got one more truck coming today so they're going to do a total five loads today and i'm going to start spreading it and see how far five trucks gets me and then after that i'm going to make the determination of how many more loads i need Bam. Dump truck coming down my little service road that I have developed. And uh, it's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be a good time out here. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. These guys are probably like, why is this guy recording everything? Because people are going to want to see it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this makes me very happy inside. Very happy. Dump this dirt, bud. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, build to the top. So that's four loads now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to get down off this pile of dirt. I got to go feed my fish and cook something to eat. And then hopefully I got my guy coming to look at bush hogging this get this place bush hog down and uh yeah oh yeah oh yeah dirt all right so there's the lexus all five loads they're bringing today a beautiful dirt to build the playground with Yeah, get this dirt smoothed out, start packing it, start jumping this thing, making some obstacles, get some of my buddies out here with their razors and quads, start jumping, and all out try to tear some stuff up. But yep, there it is. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So with that being said, now it's time to start moving this dirt around, bush hogging and clearing out. Start building this place. Yee yee, baby, let's go. All right, so another project that's kind of been going on behind the scenes is my garage here at the house. Every time we'd get bad rain, it would get water in one of my bays and the parks room. So, helping a good friend of mine build a S14 for his son, which we will do some videos on that car later. 
So I got him over here right now doing some grading. Try to get my yard smoothed out, cleaned up. So won't have flooding issues anymore. And we're also gonna bring some gravel in. I'm gonna do a big gravel parking area behind my garage. So I can park my car trailer, my utility trailer, and project cars behind it, as you can see. And might have some leftover dirt to make jumps and stuff out of. Yeah, so completely forgot about that project and prior videos and recordings. So this is gonna be fun. Pretty happy. This shop had flooding issues when my dad was here 10 years ago. And he was a uh, bit of a cheap ass and would never have it graded or spend the money to get it done. Now, I'm sick of the shop getting water in it and I'm trying to make my garage nice. So, now, my turn to do what my dad would never do when this was his house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Till next time. So it's been a long day. I uh, had dirt in the last couple of days. We've had dirt brought in for the track. I uh, had some good friends of mine come down from Jersey and buy an S14 from me. And we hung out, did some pretty rowdy things. Some of it we got on video, some of it we did not because we were just having too much fun and forgot. Um, had a friend of mine come over with his uh, equipment and bush hog and cut my field all the way down and that's what we're going out to look at right now because now this field is chopped down and ready to be worked with skid steer backhoe dozer or whatever we decide to bring out here and we're ready to build a track so let's check it out so all this was grown up now it is all cut down there's our big pile of dirt which is we're going to start spreading dirt all through this whole back corner here and then at that point make a decision on how much more needs to be brought in as of right now i've got five 20 ton loads of dirt here and I just need to budget what I spend on this. I don't want to drop, you know, a thousand dollars and get, you know, 10, 15 more loads of dirt and end up not needing it right now. Um, I want to use what I have. That way I see what I can do with five loads. So I can say, oh, well, another five loads will do, or I need 10 more loads and get it figured out. So there's five loads. It's actually pretty big. It don't look that big from this angle, but there's a lot there, trust me. Um, now that this field is cut, you can really see the elevation changes. You can see it's pretty low here, then it slopes up here. 
that'll be a good jump area. Then it slopes down beside the Lexus and goes back up. And then right here, it's flat. And then it comes and goes up right here. Right there's a nice grade that goes down. It'll, it'll make for some really fun jumps and a nice little track layout. My boys that came down from Jersey today, they're already talking about putting some cars together to bring down here, maybe crash for a few days and just rip these things up and down this field. I mean, it, it's amazing how grown men will have fun and giggle like little curls, jump in a car and just absolutely ripping a car to death and not have to worry about getting it home or how am I going to fix this? I mean, we these cars are being built strictly to just do dumb stuff with. And as you, you can kind of see how the, it grates and goes up here, um, I think with some backhoe work and some skid steer work, we can make this a little bit more of an aggressive hump. Get some pretty good air right there. I'm just trying not to go too far that way. Cause like I said, there is a neighborhood over there. Don't want to get so far over to where if somebody broke something and lost control that we could possibly endanger my neighbors. Um, so we're trying to be safe about this. Um, might even try to get, if anybody knows of any companies on the East Coast that might be willing to help us out with some barriers, just, just for legal problems, to prevent legal problems. I might run like some of the plastic uh, like K rails that you fill with water might run a line of those somewhere over there just to be safe you know and it might make for fun videos drifting and trying to like wall tap and stuff of that nature and if i want to expand and make it bigger i'm definitely going to take the fence out and go that way towards my house instead of going that way i've got another I actually measured it out there's 130 feet from where the brush starts to where my property actually ends. But I didn't want to use that because I have a neighbor that if I walk to the end of my property line can actually see his house. So I really don't want to upset him. And there's enough trees and stuff growing up all through there that it shouldn't be a problem. Keyword, shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't. But, uh, but yeah, so this is the field. We have a massive play area and you can see where the Lexus is parked there's a ton of room out here plus all of that field is mine so much room for activities and so much room for awesome things to happen so when you get done watching this if you haven't subscribed to my channel do it and get ready because as you see I'm wasting no time with this this was an idea last week and this week it's already been put in motion so subscribe share this to your friends post it on facebook post it anywhere everywhere you can stuff's going to get rowdy out here and it's going to get rowdy fast this car right here yeah it's going to take a beating and what i might do is i've had a lot of people follow the lexus build and show it love. So what I'm thinking about doing is seeing how far we can push it because this is a, a proven testament right here of how far I can push this car and it take it. So what I'm really thinking about doing is building another one of these, but building it clean, like straight body panels, clean cut in the body, doing nicer fender flares, nicer wheels, and you know just some nicer parts. This one's really thrown together, which to be a thrown together car that works so good i couldn't imagine doing one with like quality parts but what i really want to do is once we get to a thousand subscribers and start you know getting some good views in i want to build one of these do an episode on building one of these and give it away i think it'll be something very cool and i'm trying to start a trend i mean i don't know if y'all can hear that but somebody just let a ls of some sort rip and it sounded great but yeah, I want to get some of these cars out in the streets. I want to see more lifted imports getting put to use. So with that being said, Whitaker Drifting, Joey Whitaker.
go subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Big things coming. Y'all be ready. Let's get it. Out here hanging out, got my boy Steve Misco here. What's good? And I got my buddy Ricky Hoffman letting him uh, drive the off road Lexus. Let's see if he uh, has the balls to stay in it. Get some traffic. Oh, man. We like tow. Dragging some. <laughs> Tree branches. I don't think I got air, to be honest with you. Hmm? Did I get air? A little bit. Yeah. You, you, you pussy pan it and let off the gas. I mm -hmm. didn't know what's going on, dude. It's my first time dropping in. All right, drop it in. <laughs> this car is more addicting than drugs. 100%. Never done drugs, but. This is why I'm building the trap behind the house. So I can yeah, stop no, tearing my yard I can, up. I can see how addicting this is. Look at the toe in the front. <laughs> it's so fast. Yeah. It felt much better too. It's actually a lot smoother that time. Yeah, the faster you go, the smoother it yeah, gets. That's awesome. Come on, Steve, don't be a bitch. Dude, all right, come on, dude. Hey, hey, we're gonna get Steve in it. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> that's all it takes, man. You guys, you guys. Did you hit record? Because it's not recording right now. I just turned it off. Oh, I'm making sure, dude. Oh, camera roll. Oh, so what you think, Ricky? Dude, this is awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one of these. I'm kind of mad Steve just sold his, to be honest with you, because <laughs> they actually have a purpose. Yeah. Need turbo. Imagine that. Yeah, pulling like 15 psi right before you hit the damn di the ditch. Yeah, that'd be terrible. All right, so you don't know this about Steve, but his back is shot, dude. It's so bad. He sneezes, he throws his back out. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it's crazy. He's gonna do this right now and he's gonna be like, ah, 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 my back. Ah. That's what's gonna be for the rest of the ride home, but so worth it. I'm so excited for this. And Steve's definitely the one that don't let off the throttle either. Eh. A little bit. Right when we start getting serious with playtime, traffic develops. Yep. You're, you're right in the path. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just so awesome. He, I love it. This is just awesome. He just sent the shit out of it. Look at this guy driving. This guy's like, what in the oh, hell is happening? Awesome. <laughs> I'm smooth than I am. Dude. It just feels so wrong. It feels so right. It's awesome. Killed it. How much air did I get that? Time? A lot. Oh, you got a good amount. Yeah, that's yeah. a good bend. Yeah. Yeah. It's still just still rolling. I did it twice. He did it twice. You got to do it more. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. See, it's not that I'll, bad once I'll you get in. down a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Peer pressure, guys. <laughs> what do you say? Something dragging under the car. A, a tree limb? Probably. No, you can see it. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I have destroyed <laughs> my yard. <laughs> All natural, gluten free. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Steve said he's going to send it hard. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we're just a bunch of big kids. <laughs> man, I appreciate this. This hey, is good stuff. No problem. Man. Good fun. This is what happens when you put some drift guys on a big plot of land oh with some stupid ass cars. Dude, so, uh, he's just saying, he goes, imagine if we had this land by us. <laughs> oh my god. It'd be game over. Your back would be completely blown oh out. Oh my god, yeah. how's your back right now? Honestly, it doesn't hurt. That, that wasn't that bad on the back. <laughs> For now. And the passenger seat? It's rough in the back. Yeah, it was rough, but <laughs> driving, it was like... Well, you got the adrenaline going driving. driving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this man. thing is sweet, man. Let's get it. So I'm in my Cummins right now because I was being a dumbass and got the Lexus stuck in the fresh dirt. Shocker, right? And I don't feel like trying to call people to come help me pull it off. Yeah, she stuck pretty good. So I'm going to try to pull it off myself, which is probably going to get kind of sketchy pulling a car with nobody in it in neutral. So, yeah. When I tell you it's stuck, it's because it sunk in the soft dirt. I was just trying to like play around you know behind the scenes with the cameras off you know just trying to have some fun by myself and this is why I need to weld the diff if the diff was welded it wouldn't happen because if the diff was welded it wouldn't have one tire fired that is the next thing that's going to happen to this car is weld the diff. God. This ain't gonna keep happening. The only times this car has ever got stuck is because of the diff opening up. <coughs> and back up a couple feet. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing. <coughs> Brag about how awesome this car is. Then I go get it stuck. So, yeah. <sighs> yep. 
Yep. See? <coughs> Simple as that. Yank it off of there. Now I gotta drive all the way back up there, park my truck, and walk all the way back out of here. And get my damn car so <clears throat> with that being said and that being what just happened <coughs> that is how I'm going to end this episode <laughs> with me getting my car stuck Having to walk all the way around, get my truck, and drive it out here. Which I actually just detailed my truck, just washed it like earlier today. Now it's definitely dirty because my service road is nothing <coughs> but dirt. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Definitely not coronavirus, it's just a mixture of pollen and dust. <coughs> oh happy day well that will conclude this episode y'all have fun stay safe now this is going to be the official end of this episode we'll see y'all later let's get it